This is Coogan Cassius Rifles here in association with Macklin Jim Marbella. We're at the final press conference for Frankfurt versus Quig. Bike with the undercard Saturday night for the British title. Miles Shinkwe. Miles, you look very smart today, Thanks, my mate. friend. Thanks, mate. I'm trying my best. Right there. What? Let's get the full view. You don't own a suit. If I want to see you wearing a suit, I'd be surprised. Yeah, but I've seen you at other press conferences. You don't want to see One press conference is, you know, not quite as posh as this. <laughs> Um, how are you feeling out of Saturday night, first of all? Yeah, good. I'm a bit annoyed by the fight upon me interview, but don't mind him doing that. You didn't say something to him, go on. No, I can't. No. no I can't. I called me up earlier. No, joking. <laughs> no, uh, feeling good, mate. Yeah, feeling good. Feeling uh, ready to go. Um, eight weeks comes down to one night, so we're, we're ready. Intriguing clash between you and Jose Burton. Uh, as the old cliche, someone's always got to go. And uh, you're hoping Saturday night it won't be yours. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm in one, mate. Um, we prepared perfectly, you know, it's an old cliche, I'm in the best shape and all that, you know, I am in, I'm in good, real good shape, you know, we have some great sparring, um, just, just ready to go, it's all come together at right, right, the right time, so uh, just looking forward to it. How much of Jose Burton have you actually been taking notice of? More uh, so since the fight was announced? No, um, I always take notice of any lively who, who can do something because you, you eventually might be fighting them. So especially have a head start when you, when you get to that point. So I've seen him coming up, as I'm sure you've seen me coming up. Uh, we're both at the same stage of our career, we're both untested. Um, I'm coming to the ring as a, a sub area champion. He's not been that level yet, but that's, that's the only difference. So um, Saturday night we'll, we'll find out who the better man is. And it's safe to say that the best opponent you would have faced in your career and the best opponent he would have faced in his career definitely. is each other. So. Yeah, definitely. You know, like I said, yeah. I said, I said, I said in the uh, press conference that uh, if you go by the bookies, he's 10 on. I'm a, I'm a journeyman by the bookies, so he's fighting in his hometown on his promoter show with the best trainer in the world in his corner. What pressure do I have? I'm going there and do what I do in the gym every day a week. He's got a load of weight and, and he's pulled out and knocked me out early. So when it doesn't happen, when you, when you, when you panic, I think you might do. We'll have to see you come Saturday night. You're obviously uh, fighting on the undercard of this uh, great domestic world title uh, clash between uh, Frampton and Quigg. Uh, who, who are you backing for this fight? Uh, it's no, nothing personal against anyone, but uh, I just think that Frampton does everything that bit better than Quigg. I think Quigg will probably will come again and win another world title again. But I just think on Saturday night, I think uh, Frampton has too much for him. All right, well, listen, Miles, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV. You. Like I said, you look a million dollars. We're going out dancing now. You've actually gone three piece and all. I've just I know noticed. you're proper. Just noticed. Just noticed. All right, listen, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV, and uh, listen, we'll catch up with you uh, over the next couple of days. Thank you, mate. All right? Cheers, mate.